Deus in auditorium meum intende. Domine ad adjuvandum me festina. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. Diei luce iredita, letis gratis quae vocibus, Dei canamus gloriam, Christi fatentes gratiam, per quem creator omnium, diem noctem quae condidit, eterna lege sanciens, ut semper succedant sibi. Tu vera lux fidelium, Quem lex veterna non tenet, noctis nec ortu succident, eterno fulgens lumine. Presta pater ingenite, totum ducamus iugiter, Christo placente es hunc diem, Sancto repleti spiritu. Amen. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord, and night will find us proclaiming your fidelity. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-stringed lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad for the work of your hands I shout with joy O Lord how great are your works how deep are your designs the foolish man cannot know this and the fool cannot understand though the wicked spring up like grass and all who do evil thrive they are doomed to be eternally destroyed but you lord are eternally on high see how your enemies perish all doers of evil are scattered to me you give the wild ox's strength you anoint me with the purest oil my eyes look in triumph on my foes, my ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree, and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Gloria Patri, et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord, and night will find us 
proclaiming your fidelity. Extol the greatness of our God. Give ear, O heavens, while I speak. Let the earth hearken to the words of my mouth. May my instruction soak in like the rain, and my discourse permeate like the dew, like a downpour upon the grass, like a shower upon the crops. For I will sing the Lord's renown, O proclaim the greatness of our God, the rock, how faultless are his deeds, how right all his ways, a faithful God without deceit, how just and upright he is. Yet basely has he been treated by his degenerate children, a perverse and crooked race. Is the Lord to be thus repaid by you, O stupid and foolish people? Is he not your Father who created you? Has he not made you and established you? Think back on the days of old, reflect on the years of age upon age. Ask your Father, and he will inform you. Ask your elders, and they will tell you. When the Most High assigned the nations their heritage, when he parceled out the descendants of Adam, he set up the boundaries of the peoples after the number of the sons of God. While the Lord's own portion was Jacob, his hereditary share was Israel. He found them in a wilderness, a wasteland of howling desert. He shielded them and cared for them, guarding them as the apple of his eye. As an eagle incites its nestlings forth by hovering over its brood, so he spread his wings to receive them and bore them up on his pinions. The Lord alone was their leader, no strange God was with him. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Extol the greatness of our God. How wonderful is your name, O Lord, in all creation. How great is your name, O Lord, our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? Mortal man, that you care for him. Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him. Gave him power over the works of your hand. Put all things under his feet. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, 
et non cat semper et in secula seculoro amen how wonderful is your name o lord in all creation A reading from St. Paul's first epistle to the Corinthians. Brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and in which you stand firm. You are being saved by it at this very moment. I hand it on to you first of all, what I myself received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that He was buried and, in accordance with the Scriptures, rose on the third day. They proclaimed the Lord's praises, told of His power to save. They proclaimed the Lord's praises, told of His power to save. And of the wonders He had worked, they told of His power to save. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. They proclaimed the Lord's praises, told of his power to save. Barnabas set out for Tarsus to look for Paul. Once he had found him, he brought him to Antioch, where they met with the church and instructed a great number of people. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. Per viscera misericordiae dei nostri, in quibus visitabit nos oriens exalto, illuminare his qui in tenebris, et in umbra mortis sedent, ad dirigendos pedes nostros in viam pacis. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Barnabas set out for Tarsus to look for Paul. Once he had found him, he brought him to Antioch, where they met with the church and instructed a great number of people. Let us sing a song of praise to our Savior who destroyed the power of death and made clear the path to life and immortality through the gospel, and let us petition him in humble supplication. Strengthen your church in faith and love. 
You gave wonderful guidance to your church through her holy and distinguished teachers. May Christians rejoice always in the splendid legacy given to your church. Strengthen your church in faith and love. When their holy pastors prayed to you, as Moses had done, you forgave the sins of the people. Through the intercession of these holy pastors, continue to sanctify and purify your church. Strengthen your church in faith and love. You anointed your holy ones in the midst of their brothers and called the Holy Spirit down upon them. Fill all the leaders of your people with the Holy Spirit. Strengthen your church in faith and love. You yourself are the sole possession of your holy pastors. Grant that those you have redeemed with your blood may remain always in you. Strengthen your church in faith and love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you filled Saint Barnabas with faith and the Holy Spirit, and sent him to convert the nations. Help us to proclaim the gospel by word and deed. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, Et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen.